Hi everyone! In the last video, we learned how to create the looping structure so that our player can go through the adventure as many times as they want, and we wrote our first action, action statement for our player, as well as our first input statement for our player's decision. Next, we are going to handle our player's decisions using if-else statements, which are also known as conditionals. Let's begin. I'm going to start by typing my if statement. If answer one equals yes. So if my player says yes, they want to go downstairs to check it out, we're going to print the next action statement. Now, if my player says no, they don't want to go downstairs, we're also going to print another action statement. So, let's start with those. If my player says yes, they want to go downstairs, let's propose the following. To go downstairs and hear a noise. Do you want to grab something to protect yourself? And if my player says no, they don't want to go downstairs, let's propose this. You close your bedroom door and lock it. You search for your phone, but realize it's still in the bathroom. Do you go look for it? Now, we can have a little fun here and corner our player into making a decision. Now, we can make it so that our player will absolutely need their phone to get help. So, after we ask, do you go look for your phone, we're going to take input into a variable called phone. We're going to ask the player, yes or no? And to make things even more interesting, we can use a while loop and say, while phone equals no, print, you don't have any options. Do you want to look for your phone? And we can give our player a chance to try again. We'll reuse that input statement. Phone equals input, yes or no. Now, if our player says yes and changes phone's value to a yes, we get kicked out of the loop. And now we're back on this line right here. So now, we can add another action statement and say, you open the door, tiptoe into the bathroom, you grab your phone and hear a noise downstairs. Do you want to check it out? And now, finally, after everything, we can take our second input in a variable named answer2, and we're going to reuse that input statement, yes or no, from before. And now we have a few different pathways. We, have, we give our player the option in the beginning to check out the power outage downstairs, and if they say yes, then they hear a noise and they see if they want to grab something to protect themselves. If they don't want to go downstairs, we force them to look for their phone and then find their phone and hear a noise. Then we ask, do you want to check it out and wait for their second answer? And this is part two of Cheer Own Adventure.